Okay, everybody, here we go. Ready to do the test. Everything's in good shape. Sun is shining. It's a beautiful Sunday. Uh, cut a little slope to the boards here so that uh, the metal won't uh, get caught on it. Oh, yeah. Fix the tailgate. Fix the brake lights. We got her uh, ready to roll. So she's looking really nice. Anyways, let's uh, set up the camera and roll on out. <laughs> That's the truck, Dad. Yeah, I guess it's catching. What did you do? I'll show you. I'll video it here. All right, so not very much, a hundred percent good test. But, uh, so what happened was it must have obviously it's hooking on the edges of these I'll have to grind off right here it's hooking on the edge it must have come underneath caught and slid up the board so anyways I'll I'll have to back up a little bit I guess get some tension off that front tire take that cleat out and put a new cleat in and uh, yeah, grind off here so they can't catch as it's going forward. I noticed on the industrial units, they have a uh, they have a curve to them like this, and they come to a point. So that's obviously what that's for. Well, we didn't get very far. Okay, guys, we got her fixed. So uh, the issue, of course, was catching at the back cog here was caught caught it caused it to travel and get caught in between the board so i've spent a few hours grinding these down Let's see if i can get you a close-up there into a you know, this will be curved so they release earlier doesn't hook so bad of course fixed the track one of the cleats was bent so bad i couldn't uh couldn't straighten it so Okay, well, let's do it again. No. Wait. It's all something's wrong. Wait. Okay, so we just had some loose track on the other side. I think uh, Jordan and Jacob forgot to tighten them up. They did those yesterday. So I'm just going to pull forward and then we'll tighten it up and get back to recording. I'm just going to pause it. Okay, here we go. We're going to run again. Tighten up the track on the other side. Ethan, you watch 2K? No, it's coming off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. 
It's looking good. See that's we're, I'm not going to overdrive it until I get better guys. Yeah. Because it's just it's, it's still recording, right? Yeah. Okay, it's good. Yeah. So it's trying to pop off again. Um, so the guides need to be taller, but of course the guides. Uh, right now I made them small on the inside because they had to fit between the slots in this cog so I'm gonna have to uh, rework the cog probably and then and then get larger guides like the ones on the outside which are taller because yeah it doesn't definitely doesn't want to stay in when I'm turning so I'm just gonna go forward straight for a little bit till it gets back on track and then just back and forward it so we can get it out of the garage for uh, the summer Daxter, come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Daxter, come here. Come here, Daxter. Yes. Looks good now. Pardon? No bridge on the other side. Really? Okay. Wait a minute. Brad? Brad! Ethan was trying to tell us something. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, so the front end here now is almost off the track. You're driving right on your guides on the front. See? 
See? Yep. <laughs> so. So, I'm afraid the damn guides on the inside are just too small. It's uh, it's coming off on this side, uh, leaking a whole pile of fluid. Oh, this old B stand coming off on this side. So, yeah, the guides are just too small, and so it's uh, allowing it to push itself off. I'm gonna have to uh, build new guides and make them bigger. Anyways. Not for this summer. I'm going to take the tracks off and tow it out into the uh, into the field and leave her parked for the uh, summer. And then next year or uh, next winter, maybe get it back in here. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Too bad it didn't work out, but uh, well, we'll pick it up again in uh, six or eight months. Hey, everybody! Just a little closeout uh, follow-up video there to the end of that test so obviously i'm a little disappointed but uh yeah that's the way it goes i guess you just got to keep learning and doing uh, changes and making it better so the inside guides are definitely not um, tall enough it's pushing the track off i was thinking you could also add side guides to the track on the top just before it goes over the wheel you know just sliders to keep the track in the exact same spot might help as well but uh, i think the guides need to be bigger rounding off the corners on the cogs that definitely fixed that problem uh, however with the cogs the issue is if i put the taller guides in it will um, catch on the bars that are used to make that whole assembly so a little rework there needs to be done so Anyways, that's uh, next winter. It's March, so uh, time to shut her down and get on to the summertime projects. Um, yeah, anyways, this summer, this spring, hopefully you guys follow me a little bit or watch. I'm going to go back to the rocket stove. Going to get that fixed and running. And there won't be too many videos this summer, just the rocket stove. And uh, I've been working on a little bit of hydroponics on the side. So I might throw a video up of that stuff. Um, let me know if you guys want to see it or not. Anyways, uh, thanks everybody for watching and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave some comments, uh, don't mind. Take care guys, bye.